Welcome back, what's up everybody, droidlife.com. Gonna whip through a tutorial today on how to install the new custom themed HTC IME keyboards that have just been released. Uh, these are version 20, so they're an upgrade from version 19 that most of you are probably running out there. Uh, the process is not difficult, but there is a few little steps involved. We wanna do a video just to make sure we're all on the same page and can do this easily, okay? So um, on droidlife.com or droid-life.com, I'm gonna post a, a link on there to the XDA forums, which is where we're gonna download all of these custom keyboards. Okay, XDA developer forums are essentially, you know, the top developer forums on the planet for Android, and they've posted all of these fantastic keyboards which have been custom themed, okay? So what we're gonna do is go to this site, and then you're gonna scroll around them and just look at all the various versions they have. You can see all the different colors of these on here. There's that white and black one that I posted a screenshot of. There's a black and red one. There's a cyanogen one. There's a pure black one down here. There's, a, there's transparent ones. I don't know if you can see those are transparent. There's the pure black one. So you got all kinds of different options, all right? So if we define one that we, wanna, that we decide we want to install, let's just scroll down here and uh, let's do this blue one, okay? So when you decide you found decided that you found one that you like, um, you can zoom in on it and do this all from your phone. This is the easiest way. And this is oh, that's the Kentucky one. We better not do that. Let's scroll up and do. Sorry, I better find another one real quick. Um, let's do this transparent. Actually, let's just do this green one. Okay. Actually, not. Let's do this pinkish one. You know, pink's kind of our thing, right? So anyway. The links to download it are right up above it. So you can see red keys with white text. That's talking about this one, okay? So if we zoom in on this, and actually let's go landscape so you can really see everything in here. The second link is for the one with the transparent background. Now, if you want this keyboard and you don't want that transparent background in, you can go ahead and download that top link up there. But if we want this cool transparent background, go ahead and do the second link. So all we do then is just tap on it and it should start downloading. Um, I should have prefaced that by saying you need to make sure you have Astro File Manager installed. That'll help you out in this process tremendously. In fact, you probably need to have that in order to be able to do this process. So make sure you get Astro File Manager and just let it download, let it go. You can see they're a little bit big. They're about four megs, but I'm on Wi-Fi, so it's just blitzing right through that. Um, once you've chosen that, once it's done downloading, we're just gonna go ahead and open it right from this downloads page, okay? So now all you do is tap right here, right on the file you downloaded. It's gonna launch Astro File Manager. And you can see the file we downloaded is a .zip file. You can see that red, white text, transbz update .zip. Okay, so it's a zip file and Astro is powerful enough to be able to open zips. Um, next thing we do is you got two folders here. And these are the folders that are in this zip. Um, we're gonna go ahead and tap on System. And then we're gonna go ahead and tap on App. And then once we get there, you'll find two pretty familiar um, applications or APK files um, if you've installed any of the other HTC keyboards from us, okay? Clicker, as you'll remember, is the uh, calibration tool. So make sure you have that installed. If you don't, well, let's say, if you've previously installed an HTC keyboard, you can go ahead and skip that one. You know, you can install it if you want to, but basically it's already on there, okay? What we really care about is this HTC IME file. So let's go ahead and tap on that. And then we're gonna go open app manager. And I'm running version 19 right now, as you can see, installed version 19, and this file version is version 20. And so it's giving me a few options. I can uninstall, I can upgrade, or I can launch. Okay, so since I'm going from 19 to 20, I just want to go upgrade. So all I do then is tap on upgrade, and it says it's going to replace your previous application, and we're going to say OK. Now we're going to tap install, and then it's going to install this keyboard for us. Installing, installing, installing. Okay, done already. So go ahead and click done. All right, now we can go ahead and hit home and get out of Astro. So let's get out of Astro. And out of Astro. And let's go ahead and go into a text message so we can select um, this new keyboard. Go into messages and I'm just gonna open up a brand new message and sure enough I already have one open okay so how do we get a new keyboard remember we just long press after we open it up long press on the keyboard input spot go to input method and then the touch input is actually our HTC keyboard if I go ahead and hit touch input 
tap on the keyboard again, I should have my transparent keyboard on there. This is the one I just downloaded. And as you can see, it's transparent because I can see the button right here. And you can see it's that same one that I downloaded. So pretty easy process. Um, but there's a few steps in there I just wanted to point out to you. They're much easier than the written instructions if I show them to you on video. So anyway, this is the new keyboard. Um, these are very, very, very nice. I'm glad that they keep coming out with new versions for these, um, especially seeing that they're, uh, you know, custom theming them and stuff like that now. So anyway, go to the blog droid-life.com and check us out. Leave comments at the blog and we'll be sure to get back to you. We're out. Peace.